time now for another edition of the Racing Dude Way Too Early Kentucky Derby Picks. Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. I'm Magic, and today we're going to take a closer look at a horse that might have stamped herself as an emerging three-year-old filly to watch, and that is Adari Manor for trainer Bob Baffert absolutely exploded going two turns in a maiden route at Santa Anita Park over the weekend. And with me to talk more about her is Aaron Halchman. First, Aaron, your thoughts on her performance, regardless of what she does next in her next start. I thought this was the best performance by a horse in this crop yet. I, I thought she was unbelievable in this, in the Santa Anita maiden. And I know there wasn't that great of horses in it and blah, blah, blah. This horse took charge, dusted them, you know, stri- like lengthened big time in the stretch didn't really seem to be asked, asked to run, kind of just chunked out even fractions all the way through. Uh, just looked like a beast out there. And in a crop right now where it's like, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of really great horses, she's kind of stuck out, uh, you know. And, you know, is she as good as, like, the Echo Zulus in the world, who she's probably going to have to face eventually? I'm not sure, but this was a very, very impressive uh, maiden win. Like I said, I think it was one of the more impressive ones I've seen from this crop. Well, the connections, Bob Baffert, uh, jockey John Velasquez, and the owner, Michael Peterson, they're most famously teamed up with the Gamin to win a couple of big races right. there. Bob Baffert, not eligible for Kentucky Oaks points at this moment, but this is a horse who looked like she can handle any grade one company and at least give her best effort. So if this horse continues to go along the trail, do you see a way in which she gets stopped, at least out in California? No. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't. I can't see anybody. In California, I don't know. Her stable mate under the stars didn't look too bad. Uh, but I, I think this horse is better. And I think the, the big key is she looked to me the way she ran and her strides and how she galloped out. She, you know, going further is not going to hurt this horse one bit, you know. And you look at her races, the two the two races she lost before this one were around one turn. And I think she was decent in both those efforts, but this was a different looking horse. And and you you heard going into the race, she's been outworking horses with a ton of experience. Uh, So I think this horse going longer, you know, I I definitely think this is one of Baffert's best three-year-olds, regardless of gender right now. I think she's really, really good. Head over to racingdudes.com where we have free picks for every race, every track around the country. You can go to youtube.com slash racingdudes to catch all of our major stakes previews and recaps, our live stream shows, as well as full coverage of the Kentucky Oak, Kentucky Derby, and the upcoming Pegasus World Cup. In a couple of weeks at racingdudes.com, we'll have the inside track to the Pegasus World Cup wagering guide, so make sure you check out racingdudes.com and click on the handicapping products page for more information. Leave a comment below. What do you think about Adare Manor? Is she one of the top three-year-old fillies, one of the top three-year-old performances in the country, regardless of gender, as Aaron said? Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends. We'll see you at the track. This has been another edition of the Racing Dude Way Too Early Kentucky Derby Day.